There is 0% chance this guy is natural. Anyone in fitness worth a grain of salt can look at him and know very clearly he's not natural. This snake oil will cure anything that ails. Joe Rogan made a pretty interesting statement on his show. The liver king thing drives me nuts. <laughs> Because that guy's on steroids. This particular formula will make you a superman, bigger and stronger than anybody else. If you want unlimited access to cars, money, and if you want to find your queen, then you have to fuel your efforts with Ancestral Supplements Liver. We just took down a Mongolian yak. And where do you think we're going to start? Of course, the liver first, because liver is king. I was born on a, a naval air base in Ceiba, Puerto Rico. I come from a military family. Um, my dad had been moved around station, you know, from base to base. When I was two or three years old, he died. He was serving in the Air Force and he, he died. I have an older brother, about two years older than me. My mom was really tough on us, really tough on us. What I mean by that is it, it seemed like, uh, you know, brothers together are always raising hell, getting in trouble. And uh, she seemed to just beat the shit out of us. <laughs> and it's just normal. And then sometimes she would drop us off at uh, her parents' house in California, and they would do the same thing. And later on, I realized my mom got it from her dad, and they're just doing the best. My mom would take us on ski trips. I know she loved us. You know, she, she always complimented us. She always put her arms around us. Um, she gave us incredible opportunities. She gave us lots of freedom. And she also disciplined the fuck out of us too. So I was hearing impaired and I had plenty of ear surgeries and I didn't actually speak my first words for it. I was in speech therapy forever. Uh, around 10 or so, going to middle school and um, in the first day of middle school, I got the, my shit handed to me. You know, they were twice as big as me. I remember I would come home, and I would look in the mirror, I would look at the clothes that I had. I had absolutely no concept of self-worth. I was totally embarrassed. I was humiliated of this kid that I had become. And, and all I wanted to do was just be different. I was like, why couldn't I have been, have been born different? Why couldn't I look like these guys? This one guy, Felix Sanchez, uh, hawks a look in his hand, lets me have it, almost knocks me out. First time I'd ever been you know, handed something like that. Uh, but man, this just kept happening. And I came home, this, this kept happening the same day. Um, and I, I remember the way I looked, I was a skater at the time, just skateboarding, you know, thinking, oh, this is what people do. Um, but then I get to middle school, there's not one person dressed like me, or that looks like me, or that's getting their shit handed to them like me. And, uh, and I, I came home and, uh, and I, I, I cried to my mom. And so, um, I remember coming back from school the first day, tears coming out of my eyes, you know, and, and, and I told my mom, I'm never going back. And my mom, she, she looked at me with such certainty that she wasn't going to have any part of this conversation. It was like a living f in hell. Um, I was the only one of my kind in middle school. I was undersized. I was tiny. I was a, just a little guy. And so I just remember thinking, okay, uh, maybe tomorrow won't be as bad. Maybe that's the first day. Every day was like that. Every single day was like that. I remember that one of my mom's boyfriends gave us some heavy downs. And, and the whole time I'd been trying to blend in and, and look more, more like my peers. And I wore these cool red wing boots, these guest jeans, a cool shirt. Um, I felt like a million bucks that. This is the first time in like a couple of years going to school. I'm like, oh, I feel pretty good about myself. Um, later that day, we had gym class. And I come back from gym class, all my is gone. All my stuff's gone. And I told Coach Moberg, hey, all my stuff's gone. And he searched the lockers. We never recovered it, you know. And um, I ended up going home that day um, in uh, my socks and, and uh, somebody else's clothes, some, some gym clothes. Um, but this continues really all through middle school. Just um, I had no self-worth in middle school. Uh, I remember looking in the mirror. Uh, I was just completely embarrassed and ashamed of the guy in the mirror. This, this brain and this body. Um, I never stuck up for myself, not one time. And I wish somebody at least told me, hey man, you gotta at least fight back. They would, they would, they would bully me. They would, I mean, I would be blindsided out of nowhere. 
you know, sometimes somebody would punch me and, and I would wake up just with my book bag. The bell had already rang. And you know, going to middle school was, was just a, a living hell. I had to figure out a way out of that hell hole. Mom's boyfriend at the time gave us his old bench. He gave me this old bench that was falling apart, rusty as shit. And I, I went to town on bench press, curls. Um, I started getting all the muscle magazines. I would read the exercises I could do. And I was just drawn to it. You know, I was just drawn to it. And then something happened where I realized, like, this is the only place I could really control the outcomes in my life. And so I was drawn to it more and more and more. And eventually I got strong and I looked strong and I figured out a way out of this hellhole. I figured out how to kind of blend in. I figured out how to get some respect. And I doubled down on working out. I mean, think about this, I'm, I'm some kid at home. I'm working out once a day, but now I'm working out twice a day. And now I'm really learning, you know, doing everything in the magazines. Arnold Schwarzenegger was my hero. You know, anything he, he would post in the magazines I was doing, I had all his posters everywhere. People always ask me, how do you stay so fit upside down on your hands? And I always tell them, the answer is the same. I do active wrists and a whole lot of deficit work. A bodybuilder looks at his body as a thing, you know, and he wants to develop this thing, and that's what he's looking at, but never at himself. I feel that you can have the best product in the world but if you don't know how to sell it, and if you don't know, if you don't have anybody who can sell it for you or tell the public, it's a waste of time, the whole thing. It's true. They say it can't be done. But even the word impossible has the words um and possible in it. So. No. I don't know what my time is. I'll tell you right now, I just did it. I do it with no other mortal man can do. Look at that. Fresh piece of bone marrow. Mmm. Mmm. That's the most delicious butter you'll ever have. Liver King out. Hearing Liver King talk, or Brian Johnson to use his real name, it was clear why he got into lifting weights. He had a terrible time at school, which included the other kids calling him a runt, and little Brian, which he obviously didn't like. He was knocked out dozens of times and didn't have a single friend. But being bullied at school was not the reason why he would go on to start an online presence. There was an entirely different reason for that. This whole thing started, my, my business is really as an evolutionary hunter, as an entrepreneur, started because my kids were sick, because they couldn't breathe. They were going to the hospital because they were allergic to things and they would choke up, they would have anaphylactic shock mm -hmm. and they would turn blue. Mm -hmm. They were gonna For, die. First time it happens, that's gonna be scary. Oh yeah, I mean, but it keeps happening. And every time it's scary. And every yeah. time you think, oh my God, I could lose. But what if my kid wasn't here? Yeah. What if we The hardest moment was when my, my son Rad got sick and uh, we thought we, we thought we were losing him. He lost his bind. You know, uh, there's something called PANDAS. It stands for uh, Pediatric Autoimmune Neur Neurological Disorder, something like that. And um, it basically is like the manifestation of like these uh, obsessive thoughts. And you can't stop thinking about these obsessive thoughts. It just takes over you. And, uh, and one day he asked if, um, if a bad guy spits on the ground and if you see that spit, does that make you a bad person? And we just thought this is the strangest question, right? Uh, of course not. But then immediately it was like the same question, but a slight variation. If you touch the spit, you know, um, if you spit on the ground and it, it was, uh, it consumed him and, and it was him asking those questions. And then I, one day he said, oh God, I, I already asked that question, didn't I? And then he realized, and it was nonstop. It was nonstop. And um, I remember, uh, you know, my wife and I just, uh, we, uh, we, we were crying on each other because we thought we lost him. Um, and when you learn about more about what pandas is and, um, you know, kids are kind of relegated to like a chemical straitjacket. They're sedated enough to where they're not in such torment because it's either him constantly asking these questions 
or he's screaming out of the top, you know, uh, out of just top of his lungs, he's screaming. And one day he said, um, I wish I had a baseball bat because I would rather hit my brain and do damage to this brain than to live with this brain. And, uh, and so I would say, you know, we've, th this is probably the last rite of passage that I've been through, like to, to go through this with my family um, and, and to figure it out, you know, with him. And, uh, and we figured it out. Figured it out through ancestral living. Ancestral living was our savior. You know, this is why we so deeply believe in this. This is why I'll never stop this fight. Even if it's not Liver King that leads this charge, like I'm gonna make sure there's a hundred other CEOs of the ancestral lifestyle that are preaching that liver is king. I know what that is like to go through that kind of health crisis. And I've always said, what kind of piece of shit am I gonna be if I don't spread this message, if I don't make this my why in the world? So what ends up happening is, um, I started a company and the, the whole purpose of this company was to advance ancestral living. And we also sold some nose to tail nourishment, liver, bone marrow, heart. Brian saw the amazing results this new way of living had on his children that it made him want to go out and spread the message. He began uploading to YouTube, Instagram and TikTok, all of it to spread his message, in particular his nine ancestral tenants. First ancestral tenant is sleep because that's a time the body and brain detox, recover, rebuild, and restore. We can go months without food, weeks without water, but only days without sleep. The second ancestral tenet is eat, because we evolved eating the whole animal, nose to tail, horns to hooves. But in the modern world, we choose processed foods and muscle meats over the most nutrient-dense parts like liver and bone marrow. The third ancestral tenet is move, because what you do with your body is just as important as what you put into it. The fourth ancestral tenet is shield, because our early ancestors avoided dangers. Well, instead of running away from a lion, we need to be running away from processed foods, excessive Wi-Fi, perfumes, and plastics. The fifth ancestral tenet is connect, because our early ancestors were in constant contact with the earth, 24-7, 365. All you have to do is take off your shoes and plant your bare feet directly on the earth. Start with 10 minutes, see how you feel. I bet you come back for more. The sixth ancestral tenet is cold. Our early ancestors were regularly subjected to cold. It's like we're purpose-built for it. Cold! Seventh ancestral tenant is sun. Because our early ancestors didn't brush, didn't floss, didn't get cavities. At the heart of midday sun exposure is vitamin D. The eighth ancestral tenant is fight. Because men evolved fighting, hunting, protecting, struggling, persevering, Winning. The ninth ancestral tenant is bond. Since the inception of our species, we belong to a far greater purpose. We belong to each other, and we were there for each other. So the name is Liver King because liver is king! <laughs> so many people today go to a job that they hate. They come back home to a life that they don't love. And then they sedate themselves for the rest of the day on the screen, disconnected from their friends and their family. They consume processed food. They watch enough Netflix. They take medication to feel better and get hard. They call it a day that turns into a week, that turns into a month. They call this their lives. And my job is to take this message mainstream because kids like my kids deserve a better shot at life. 70% of the population are overweight, half are obese, 50% on prescription medicine, 40% have or will get cancer, and 20% want to have kids and can't have kids. So, and I'm getting all these emails in. And, and I see how desperately they're hurting. The guy has an incredible physique. He's very, very, uh, I don't know, entertaining to watch too. Liver King here, I'm hungry. Send something up. What? Veg Why would I eat vegetables when I can have testicles? Liver King here, we just finished butchering the cow. The first thing we had was the liver, of course. No way you gonna eat that raw. Oh. Hell no. People go to a job that they hate. They come home to a life that they don't love. They sedate themselves with enough junk food, with enough soda, with enough medication, Netflix, whatever, right? Call it a day, call it a week, call it a week. Call it, this is their life, right? Again, this is my why. This is my why in the world. That's right, I'm the liver king. You know why? That's fucking awesome. I'm the liver king because liver is king. Goddamn right, man. You're eating the liver? Yup, yup, yup. I love Let's it. Let's tell, dude. Let's you do? Tell, yep. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Yup. My old name is Brian. Oh, shit. You know what happened? The liver king, the beast inside the cage, uh -huh. breaks out and ate Brian. <laughs> and that's how I became the liver king. 
You yeah. say in a, in a year or two you're gonna uh -huh. have a, you're gonna have whatever name you want because you can become anything. Like it, man. Yeah, like brother. It, like it. Keep fucking Thanks for saying hi, my man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Alright, brother. Love and being here. The name is Never King because never is king, and fight is the most primal expression of who we are. And I just want to say thank you to the PFL for hosting what an incredible night, tournament style, season style. What a great night to be here. Brian was out there spreading his message, inspiring many and having fun while doing it, with the majority of his content being aimed towards young men especially. I run our club right here, so I know exactly yeah, what yeah. Yeah. Can't be in here without your shirt on. Oh, oh. Sure. you know what? Yeah. Somebody said that earlier. You might not know this. I'm actually wearing a muscle shirt. Primals want to know if Liver King can dunk. Man, I'm Liver King. Liver King out. No way, you're so sure. I thought I practiced this technique for so long. Wait, you swear? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's the point. That's why we're coming for each other. You come for me, I come for you. We smash each other. Okay, athletes ready. Let's go. Woo. Judges ready. Yeah. In three, two, one, go. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, there had been speculation about how he acquired that physique. Liver King, your abs ain't moving. What's going on, buddy? That was real. Those are implants? Impl Dude, you think, you think somebody, to get a feeling of you. And I've been asked multiple times over, I don't know, the last since I made my first video on the guy, yes. What I think about his unreasonably blocky turtle shell six pack is even when he's just standing relaxed, the guy has a very, very like turtle shell-esque Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fucking thing going on here. Like I'm looking around, I don't, I don't see, I don't see any scars that you have on your abdomen. So, so softness, there's strong muscle, some good liver over here. That's right. <laughs> if these were abdominal implants, right? If this were abdominal implants, both sides would look like this. So you can see how it's 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 different shaped. Now let's switch to the other side. Yep. Exa exactly the, the same thing happens. So now you can see the definition over here. You don't see it over here. So if you had implants, that would be all the way across like that. For Liver King, of all the things people call him fake for and all the sh he does. I think the ab implant thing is not true, to be honest. I think they are personally his actual abs. I just had. Brian seemed eager to prove that he didn't have ab implants, but there was one thing he would struggle to prove to the public. Can they get a build like yours without taking them? So I want to set the record straight. I want to expand and tell you why it's possible. Joe Rogan criticized you. The Liver King thing drives me nuts because <laughs> that guy's on steroids. Well, Just shut the f up. The, the question has always been, do you take steroids? Do you take PEDs? The answer to that is no. I've always told the truth. I still tell the truth. Talk to us about, you know, whether you use performance enhancing drugs or steroids or anything to get this physique. Listen, I love this question. I've been getting this question since high school, and it's done more to lift the Liver King brand and message than any other question. So I hope you asking it now continues to do the same. The short answer is no. I don't touch the stuff. He's this nice guy. He 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 peddles supplements. He lies. He's probably on the roids. He talks about masculinity. And he way walks around the shirt off. That guy is an asshole. And can wait, you, he's an asshole because he's just because a fraud. He's just a phony. He's a fraud. Mm. Like he's just he's a clown. It is time to put the rumors to rest. I just got my blood work done, 
and the doc is on his way to give me the results. Okay, Liver King, I got your blood results. Show him, don't tell him, doc. Okay, we did find something unusual about your blood. Aha, I knew it, primal! primal. So this is what I say to people that make this accusation. Um, if you don't believe this is possible, then I suggest that you take that self-limiting belief, you put that shit in a box and you bury that next to all your embarrassing shit and don't open your mouth about it. L let that live with you. Ever since Brian came onto the scene, he'd been accused of taking steroids and he had always denied it. But no matter how many times he told us he never touched the stuff, those accusations would still be there and eventually the truth would come out. This set of redacted emails shows what appears to be Liver King corresponding with a bodybuilding coach. So this is the first email, June 29th, 2021, which is notable that this is actually almost two months before he started posting as Liver King on social media. As it relates to my goals, I'm the face of several brands, including Ancestral Supplements, and I've just hired a team to build the Liver King brand with the goal of 1 million followers by March 2022. That's like, wildly specific and I believe he actually did it before that date, which is crazy because he had zero followers in June of 2021. So within less than a year, he knew he was gonna get a million followers all around this brand with the intention of blowing it up from day one. I'm pouring ridiculous resources into making this happen, including hosting a video guy that will be living at my guest house and a film crew that will be filming seven days a month stated I have to stay in great shape year round. Maybe take one to two months off per year. And when he says off per year, like he's very much implying hormone use. I've been working out for 35 years. I know how to train, eat, rest and recover. I even have a hard shell hyperbaric chamber at my house. But as I've reached my mid forties, it's getting harder and the back fat kills me. To support these exhaustive efforts, I've recently started taking Omnitrope. So if you guys don't know Omnitrope, this is pharmacy grade human growth hormone. The 5.8 milligram vials from Empower Pharmacy, $11,000 per month for my new dose, which is four vials per week. I know bodybuilders who compete at the Open Mr. Olympia who use less pharma, pharma grade GH than that. Like that's, that's how high of a dose that actually is. Here's what I'm currently taking. IGF-1 LR3, presumably. CJC with IMAP, Ibutamoran, Omnitrope, human growth hormone, testosterone cypionate, 0.6 cc per week. DECA, nandrolone decanoate, Winstrol, 50 milligrams a day. Yes, I am the guy that shared those private emails with Derek for more plates, more dates after more compelling evidence started to surface that the liver king was indeed using performance enhancing drugs. I don't think it comes as a surprise to anybody in the fitness community. I felt very conflicted about this entire situation for the last one and a half years. You know, you, you see him get more popular and more popular. Basically everything that he said that he wanted to do in that email, he actually accomplished, you know, a million subscribers or followers by uh, May 2022, yeah. which was last year. Yeah. That's quite commendable, but the way he did it, um, you know, was based on kind of a false premise. Most people who had watched Brian assumed he had been lying about not taking steroids, but there were those who believed him. Plenty of young men who thought that if they followed his nine ancestral tenants, they would get a body like his. After the video exposing Brian came out from Derek from More Plates, More Dates, it didn't take Brian long to respond. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. Because I f***ed up. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Because I lied. And I misled a lot of people. I've stated that this is a complicated as topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. And I've just hired a team to build the Liver King brand with the goal of 1 million followers by March 2022. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I am on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. 
Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts, and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no, I don't touch the stuff, not gonna touch the stuff, never touch the stuff. I've always told the truth, I still tell the truth. That was a lie. I have only myself to blame. I did that. And it was all wrong. I will be better. I will talk about it openly. Ultimately, why did I or why do I do them? <sighs> when I talk about the 85% of the population that suffers from self-esteem issues, that's me. Uh, around 10 or so, going to middle school, and um, in the first day of middle school, I got the, my shit handed to me. You know, they were twice as big as me. I fully own that I I am as sorry as a man can be. And all I can do is take extreme ownership right now, be better, and lead myself to a better life as a better human. Again, thank you to everyone for the support, the criticism, the love, the hate, and above all else, the loyalty. Liver King. Out. Hey Derek, you know how I got so jacked? How? I follow the nine ancestral tenants. <laughs> oh, that I heard that works really well. <laughs> it's the best way. I'm making this video to apologize. Because, I fucked up. because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. He was trying really hard to get on the podcast. And he's been trying really hard to get on now. He uh, contacted contacted a few friends of mine. And some of them that have like Burt Kreischer that had him on the show. Yeah, he told me he's trying to get on <clears throat> yeah, for well. what for what say that more like come on this is dumb man this is a f you ran a con game and you got busted the liver king no what he's not natural he's been exposed i can't believe it oh. now we find out the liver king with the big gh gut is on steroids and doesn't even follow his own diet. His body isn't the result of following the ancestral tenants or glorbing down on animal testicle for every meal. It's the result of steroids. So Brian was caught out by his own emails. The news he had lied would surely have disappointed many of his fans. To his credit though, Brian didn't shy away after this he did exactly what he said he was going to do in his apology video. He talked about it openly. I'm embarrassed about it. Uh, I feel like uh, I humiliated myself. I feel like I earned all of it. I deserve all of it. You know, I read the DMs and there's a lot of hate. Today. Like, I know why I'm on today. You know, I'm on today because- What did you lie about? I lied about being on steroids. Hold on, I don't believe it. So you lied I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Email no. the Derek. No, 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 no. I called Derek, uh, and he didn't answer. So then I sent him a text message. I said, hey, man, thank you. And so uh, then he answered. I said, hey, what's the best way to get in touch with you? He said, I'm free now. So I gave him a call, and I said, uh, thank you for doing this. I don't know what good will come of this, but good, bad, and different. You know, everything in life is good. And I'm going to find a way, you know, to make silver linings from this. Oh. The way that I came up with the apology video was just like um, the kids were going to bed. They went to bed. Uh, first thing the next day, I said, hey, I need to talk to you guys. Let's get around the table. So we all got around the table. And really what I said to my kids is, is almost the same thing on the apology video. It was like, I just looked at them, you know, and uh, this is tough, you know. Um, to look your, your kids in the eye and to tell them that you've been lying to them. You know, I've never lied to my kids about anything, but I lied to them about this. Now that everyone knew for sure that he had lied, everything he told us was being questioned like did his family, really eat the same way he did. Liver King. Liver Queen. Out.
It's a little chewy, so you just gotta go savage on it. There you go. Yeah. You get a hell yeah on that. Good. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Come here, Rad. Whoa. Come get down on some spleen. Little savage piece. I'm glad that you guys wore all white to mark the occasion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wants to get down on some spleen? Was his reason for sharing his message because his kids were sick, or was that simply a story his marketing team came up with to help sell his products? If you want to be a top king, if you want unlimited access to cars, money, and if you want to find your queen, then you have to fuel your efforts with ancestral supplements, liver, beef organs, and bone marrow with breakfast, lunch, and dinner because liver is king. And you already know with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, always going to have a whole feast protein shake. You're, you're making over $100 million a year from your businesses. True or false? True. True. That's that's a pretty staggering, staggering accomplishment. So basically, you see all of these problems in the world and you want to try to solve them using the tenants that you have. And one way you can get people to obey the tenants is by your different businesses, such as the supplements, such as spreading the message through Liver King, uh, which also is, I'm sure, a great marketer towards all of these other businesses that you also have. It's the rising and tide lifts all boats, right? Right. Concerned his steroid taking would affect his message, Brian decided to make a change. Do you think you'll still continue to use steroids? You know, I believe so deeply in this message that um, I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm transitioning on one raw testicle a day. January 2nd was my last dose, and I don't know what the future has in store, other than I've made an earnest commitment to give it my best effort. The Liver King claims he is now 26 days natural. After being exposed for lying about taking performance enhancing drugs by Derek from More Plates More Dates in some of the leaked emails, Liver King claims he has now turned his life around and he's off everything. Looking at these pictures, I do think there's a noticeable downsized difference in Liver King's physique, particularly his arms look to be really deflating. You can genuinely see that he's losing size, he's losing fullness, he's losing muscle for sure. Liver King 2.0, 70 days. So this year, starting on January 2nd, I went 220 days without any steroid, without any growth hormone, without any peptide, without anything synthetic. If you call eating a pound of fresh, raw bull testicles every single day natural, then I've been natty as fuck for 220 days. So I've lost over 20 pounds. You know, and anybody who interacts with me in real life will tell you I look leaner. For anybody who doesn't believe me, all you have to do is look at my social media photos. Look at it from December to, to now and tell me that you can't tell the difference. Massive difference. Uh, I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like the idea of losing over 20 pounds of muscle. I don't like the idea that became the reality of losing a lot of strength. This one guy, Felix Sanchez, uh, hawks a loogie in his hand, lets me have it, almost knocks me out. First time I'd ever been, you know, handed something like that. My one rep max strict press was like 255, and I couldn't even hit 205 in July. So I've decided to go back on it. Brian just couldn't not take steroids. Clearly, the events from his early life had followed him into adulthood. But something would happen to Brian which would make these leaked emails seem almost trivial. I got knocked the f out so bad, ambulance took me to the hospital, got the CT scans, learned that I got concussed, multiple impacts, learned of damage that I have behind the eye, aka brain damage that I sustained. Once you've lied about something in the past, people often think that you're going to continue to lie. And so could this possibly be some kind of a stunt? First surgeon says, you're going to lose the eye. So I see another and another and another. Last one says there's a small percent chance. I'll take it. I'm going to do anything and everything I can to recover my eyesight. I'm spending all my extra time in nature, bare feet connected to the earth, sun on my back, the bond, all of the nine ancestral tenants. What I know is this, 
I have a wife that I love and adore. I have boys that I love and adore. I have a family that I love and adore. Everything that really matters in life. But I ain't going out without a fight. Now everybody wants to know who knocked me out. Well, there's no better person to tell a story than the person who knocked me out. <laughs> That's right. I knocked me out. I know it's so embarrassing. I'm going to show you how I did it. So, note the safety glasses. I'm doing face pulls with double reds, and I have them around the doorknob. Boom, boom, boom. Snap. It comes off the anchor point, both of them. Four impacts, two fists to head, bands right to the eye, and then head to four. Out in cold. <laughs> That's how I did a number on myself. And I know, um, I can't believe I'm telling this story. It is pretty serious though. I really can lose the eye. So I'm gonna continue to ask for the blessings, the love and the support. More, give, give me more. These are the numbing drops? Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't need numbing drops. Give, you can give me the pain, give me the pain drops. We'll give that to you in just a little bit. All right. Everything's born ready. <laughs> you read anything there? Yeah, it says liver. Liver? Yep. So, is, so that way, it is, it, what it does is it'll enlarge your veins in the back. So that way when we take images, they're able to see your retina. Holy, I don't know if you guys heard that online, but if they enlarge your veins, pour that on my arms, <laughs> on my chest. I'm doing an EEG, an electroencephalogram, to measure my alpha waves. And this is the third one that we're doing because my alpha waves were so strong that <laughs> I broke the previous two machines. So they had to go get the same one that they used on Thanos. It worked for him. Let's see if it works for Liberty. King. Got an update for you. The eye surgeon says that there's reattachment and healing taking place. Don't get your hopes up. Well, guess what? Too late. I already got my hopes up. Instructed to not wear the eye patch all the time, 50-50 split, so expect to see it on and off. But the other thing I'm really dealing with, the post-concussion symptoms. For those of you that have had a concussion, a TBI, brain injury, and dealing with the inability to express the words that you're thinking of, the lower drive, the mood, the neuro and cognitive abilities, you know, those are the things. Wait for it. Hold on. that have become part of my life. And it's uh, living a hollow version of yourself, not fulfilling your highest and most dominant form, that's for sure. So I'm doing anything and everything I can to get back to really being the dad that my boys deserve, the husband that my wife deserves, the CEO that my people deserve, and the man that I know that I can be. I'll take all the wishes, the prayers, the hopes, the thoughts, the blessings, any favorable sentiment, even the other ones. Send them all my way. I deserve all of it. I hope and ask for it all. Everything out. <laughs> Looks like I still got it. Ancestral Tenant Forest Shield, always, and I mean always, we're protecting. Because you gotta build those rear delts, the symmetry, the pummeling power to protect the anterior, and this pressing strength comes from the rear delts. You gotta do with the rear delts, face pulls, band pull aparts, anything and everything at every cost, except the eye. No eye for an eye. Whether people liked Brian or forgave him or not, no one wanted him to lose an eye, and no one wanted him to have brain damage. And despite the lie, people still wanted to be seen with him. How you cook for a king! We start with an onion. Subprimal! How about some garlic? Subprimal! For the next 48 hours, I'm going to eat, train, live, and sleep with Liver King. Hold on. The only person that sleeps with the king is Liver Queen. Yes, sir. I am the Liver King! <laughs> Who goes there? I'm Matthew. Matthew? Yes. Is that all you got? I'm the Liver King, and you're Matthew? <laughs> I do believe that Brian is genuinely relieved to not have to keep this secret any longer. The minute it happened, I'm like, what a relief. Yeah. What a relief. I mean, I, I had been lying to my boys. To look at your kids and say, 
I've been lying to you? Yeah. To your kids? Yeah. Yesterday, by the way, my, my son Stryker beat me in a race. It's the first time he's just smoked me physically, athletically. Um, and uh, and we're out there. steroids? Uh, he, he'll tell you. He'll tell you. <laughs> he, he stacks the nine ancestral tenants. <laughs> Brian may not be universally loved, but for me, I enjoy watching his videos. Far too often, I watch people for this channel that sit at home doing nothing all day, every day. So to have Brian out there doing these wacky things, whether it's a character or not, has been a breath of fresh air. Him lying to his fans obviously isn't good, and he was a bit of a modern day snake oil salesman. This snake oil will cure anything that ails you. But I think the health scare regarding his eye and brain put things into perspective for many, and his nine ancestral tenants are all good things to follow. He is a fun watch for me. I won't just blindly believe anything he says, and I won't be buying any of his products anytime soon. But I will definitely be entertained by the Liver King. You'll never guess what we're having for dinner today. It's definitely not a baby deer. No, 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 definitely not. Here's the truth, Primals. We found her unresponsive a couple hours ago, all gashed up and weak. We know rule number one is to leave the baby where she sits. But when you're unresponsive and weak, you have an obligation. It's called an obligation to life. So we've given her some goat milk, some electrolytes, and we got the ranch hen Jim, the expert, coming to help us out. Kind of feeling a little good about that. Never came out. Brian saw what? What do you see? Thomas Edison was no, doing Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Oh, good goddamn. Three, two, one, go. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, there was speculation about how he came to acquire that physique. We got the Liver King. We don't call it the Liver King place. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, speculation did something. There was speculation. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, there had been speculation about how he. Uh -huh. <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing, Thomas? I don't need you bothering me for a so story 24 7. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, there had been. Spe uh -huh. Ever since he appeared online, what happened, man? It's the easiest line. There's only one line. Because of Brian's impressive physique. Ah, oh, I have to do another bloopers. ASMR. This is my second dinner without. Let's do that again. Because of Brian's impressive physique, ever since he appeared online, there had been speculation about how he acquired that physique. Fuck me. And some beef liver and beef from Liver King Ranch. Pep, um, meatballs over tzatziki sauce. Brian seemed eager to prove he didn't have ab implants. But there was one thing he did something. But there was one thing he would struggle to prove. Brian seemed eager. <laughs> Fuck off. Brian was eager to prove he didn't have ab implants. But there was one thing he would. What would he do? Struggle. I know struggle. Saying one line. I got four different types types of salt. This is I forgot. Brian seemed eager to prove that he didn't have ab implants, but there was one thing he would struggle to prove to the public. What? Brian seemed eager to prove that he didn't have ab implants, but there was one thing he would struggle to prove to the public. Why was that so bloody hard? Come over here, Thomas. <laughs> Concerned his steroid taking would affect his message, Brian decided to make a change. I'll do it again, I want David Brent there. Woohoo, did he? Well. Usually. Oh, fuck, I, I fucked up, tell him. Brian just couldn't not take steroids. Clearly, the events from his early life had followed him into adulthood. But something would happen to. But something would happen to Brian which seemed much more important. Uh, Primals. This is my. This was started. What, what dinner? Clearly, the events from his early life had followed him into adulthood. But something would happen. What it? That doesn't mean a primal doesn't have to eat. We do. 
nothing in there. Sick. Ah. Oh, fuck. <laughs>